I got one of these. You know, you'd think I'd be discouraged, given the response to my uh, Black Lives Matter post. But as a uh, cisgender white male, I take an enormous amount of pride triggering other cisgender white males. And recent events have uh, really brought the issue with tabletop role-playing games back into the limelight. Is there a problem in the industry with the lack of inclusion? Yes, there is. Old adverts and assumptions were right. This game was played by a majority of heterosexual white men. It was only in my late teens that I discovered the broad appeal of role-playing to those that were not me. For some reason, people got threatened by this wider attraction, and for the life of me, I don't know why. Linda, aka The Gamer Girl, conducted a great interview with Jason Elliott of Solarian Games, formerly known as TSR. I suggest you give it a watch to understand the importance of what is going on. Uh, for those in the dark, uh, TSR as a brand faded after Wizards of the Coast purchased them. Uh, Jason picked up the IP in 2011, but a miscommunication and error resulted in his ownership of the IP lapsing. It was immediately picked up by another company populated by Ernest Ernie uh, Gygax Jr. and partner Justin La Nasa. Quoting a Gizmodo article, Gygax has since made racist remarks about Native Americans, blasted Wizards of the Coast for addressing D&D's history of racism, saying it's a call to join the Pack of Lemmings, and suggested that his company was comfortable supporting writers and artists with anti-trans views. Uh, Justin Lanasa is his own special brand of asshole, in my humble opinion, and subsequently the blowback was expectedly severe. The new TSR was banned from every major gaming convention, and the new TSR has pointed fingers at basically everyone accusing them of slander, up to and including Wizards of the Coast, who have said nothing. I mean, they don't need to. You're to end me, are you? You're being ridiculous. I'm going to sit center court and watch you do it yourself. Jason, by the way, has also formed a new company. He has moved away from TSR and calling it Solarian Games. I think it's really cool, and you should give it a check. So let's come to this. Even though DS Ex Machina products often deal with social and political, political issues, it's obvious if you read our books, we generally avoid grandstanding. I don't want our opinions to come off as pandering. The modern lexicon refers to it as virtue signaling, although that term is pejorative as it's been wielded as a weapon by certain groups attempting to fight against progressive ideas. That being said, recent events involving the very industry I work in have made stating our views mandatory. So let's make it clear. Every stop in the political spectrum agrees that personal liberty and freedom of choice are vital components in our society. Although some people need to be reminded that their ability to speak does not guarantee immunity from consequence, their capacity to express an opinion is never denied. Although to specify, you are entitled to scream your opinion, no one is entitled to give you a megaphone. This independence must extend to every aspect of our bodies. If what we say can be protected, then what we are must be equally significant, if not more so. I passionately believe that if someone is free to believe what they want, that includes any definition of whom they are attracted to and what gender, if any, they identify as. I also believe a society functions correctly when the majority protects those under threat. Humanity fails when it neglects those in need. This includes those susceptible to viruses, those immigrating, and those part of minority groups up to and including members of the LGBTQ plus community. I will not support organizations, governments, or companies that elect to condemn or criticize the very people we as a civilization need to support, especially in modern times when a shrinking minority of weak-minded and unscrupulous, unscrupulous individuals have taken upon themselves to attack innocent people guilty of nothing more than existing. I am my company, and this is my opinion. I know I do not fall under any category of suppression given my skin color, gender, and preference. I possess enough civility and wisdom to understand that it is my responsibility to improve as an individual, to expand my understandings, and to embrace people being pushed away by others. I am not perfect. I was raised in circles that made jokes that hurled insults. 
but I recognize these are character faults and aspects of civilization I very much wish to change. It will happen. I may stumble, but I will do my best to create an open and welcoming space. We're only human, but part of that humanity is empathy. This is Chris from DSX Machina.